Hey guys, it's May May, and today we are going to be working on ATC cards. No, AT cards. <laughs> they are artist trading cards. So ATC stands for artist trading cards. Now here's the thing. When I first heard of these, I was like, I don't think that's for me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know why I would make little pieces of art on small little pieces. I don't know. I, that's what I was like. That just seems like, um, not for me. But... I was doing some research on them, and here's what's cool about an artist trading card, which I guess when you know the reason behind something, it makes a lot more sense, right? So an artist trading card is two and a half inches by three and a half inches, and, um, and this is a piece of like stiff um, cardboard I just cut from some recycle stuff. And this is the two rules. They have to be two and a half inches by three and a half inches, and they are not to be sold, they're to be traded. And here's the reason. The idea behind these is so that you can have little pieces of your artwork to share with people. Now, let me tell you why I think this is cool, and then we're going to get started. Because I have been out and about, and my husband, or, you know, somebody will say something about, oh, what do you do for a living? And, my, and I typically just say, you know, what I really do for a living. And then my husband will say something like, she also has a YouTube channel, and blah, blah, you know, start talking about May May Made It. And he's like, give him one of your cards. Well, I never have... My card is, I do have a card and it's cute and all that kind of stuff, but it's not my artwork. And if I had some of these made up where I could be like, oh, here's some of my art and my information on the back, that would be super cool for that. So if you guys are artists, before you go poo-pooing this idea, because <laughs> that's what I did. I was like, I don't know about making trading cards, but I think it really is a cute idea. So here's the deal. I'm in a swap with um, Jane from Velocity Vet 08. We're doing five cards for each other. I'm very excited. And so four of my cards are going to be made out of this great, wonderful material, and I couldn't find it again, so one will be this. But once I fill it up, it'll be thick. So um, let's make one. I'm excited. So here's the other cool thing about ATCs. You don't have to use your big supplies. I went to my scrap drawer and pulled out a bunch of stuff that I wanted to use. This paper was pretty. Um, this I just got from my son's um, girlfriend, Samantha. She gives me little things, which I think is so sweet. And so she gave me these. And then I just found some other paper, and I thought, this is kind of cool because I don't have to dig into my big supplies. I can really focus on my junk drawer. Here's the cool thing about the trim, about your scraps. You know they're stuff you love because you've used them on another project. So if you're going to show people the kind of stuff you love to do, what better place to dig than in your scrap drawer, right? Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to do anything to this. This is going to be covered. I've cut these two bases to go on top of it. So I'm going to be covering this, but you know what? I think I will ink the edges of this just in case they show. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you my plan for this video. I'm going to make five of these, and I think I'm just going to record and kind of chat as I go and just let you guys kind of see what I'm doing. So this may end up being a pretty long video, and it may go into two parts. But basically, I'm going to be doing five... Oh, that's my phone, guys. Sorry. Basically, I'm going to be doing five pieces of art, and I thought you guys might like to follow along. So I'm going to ink up... And I'm going to do both sides just in case something shows. Won't hurt a thing to do this. Now, my plan is to do them one at a time. This is another important thing about ATCs from what I have discovered. None of them should be alike. So these are not something you'd want to assembly line because these are miniature pieces of your art. So I won't be assembly lining these guys. So there is that. And these pieces are going to go on here, but I'm going to build on here before I attach it to this. So I'm going to start with one. Um, I love the look of this book paper, and I want some of this on here, but I don't want to cover all of my craft. So what do you do in that instance? You tear, right? So I'm going to tear. There we go. Pull toward me gets the white edge. Okay. And please be good. I just need to take a little bit more off. Yep, I like that piece there. Okay, and then let's look at some other goodies from my scraps. I have this piece of fabric that I got, I don't even remember how long ago, but I got it at Michael's, and it was, um, it's canvas, but it was in the scrapbook section, and so I think I'm going to use, hmm, I may have to do this up here, because I really want to use this clock. I'm going to cut that out real quick. I just think this is really pretty. 
I'm going to put that there. Then I think I'm with this guy here. But that kind of takes away from my torn paper, doesn't it? But I do like that right there. Maybe I'll do a stamp in the background instead of the paper. Let's see what that looks like. You guys know I love this book stamp, this book text. And so I think what I'm going to do here is use some Distress Ink and just ink it so I get a pale book text behind it. So I'm just going to set that down. Press. Oh, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I think I'm going to do that to the back piece too. Because I have these little things I've made to go on the backs of my cards. And that's another thing. When you're making an ATC, you want to put something on the back that has your information. And you even number these as pieces of art. You number them. You date them. Um, you can sign them. <laughs> you're going to put your name and who made it. You can put any information you want on the back of them. So I'm going to save that for the back. And I thought this has to be inked now. I love that. That's really pretty. Okay, let's bring the clock back. I need to trim this edge of this clock because it seems to be fraying. Once I glue it down, that'll stop, though. Yep, I like that right there. Okay. And... I wanted to see about adding some of these flowers. This is also something that Sam gave me. Jared, my, my son Jared's girlfriend's name is Samantha. I call her Sam. So if I mention Sam, you'll know. She gave me these. And I want to put some orange or something on this to go with those brads. So let's see. A little flower. Oh, I kind of like it in the middle there. Or maybe down here. Oh, I like it down here. And then put one of these brads through it. See, this is the cool thing about these. It's your artwork. So you're not making it with somebody else in mind. You're making it with yourself in mind. Which is super cool because you're like, do I like this? Or do, you know. Now, you can make them for other people. From what I've seen, you know, it's your artwork. So if you, you know, if you were giving somebody something, you would use your, your techniques and your favorite things on it. So you still can do that. But the original idea behind these was to showcase your art in just a little piece. Move those aside for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I really like that there. The cool thing is I'm going to be using different products that kind of showcase me too. Like, does anybody think I could do an ATC card without using burlap? No. <laughs> so I'll be using some burlap. Um, and just different things that are your favorite products. You know, favorite things that you do. I love that. That's super cool. Alright, and now I'm going to poke a hole here. Let me see where I'm going to need it. Kind of high. So something like this. And I just use a pen. Like a straight pen kind of thing. Because I don't have an awl or a tool or anything for that. And find my hole. Poke that through. Oh, I like that. That gives it some dimension. I like it a lot. Okay, now I think maybe... Hmm, what would I put on here next? I'm going to look around and see what I can find. And in my mind, I want to use something that goes with time. So I'm going to put the word fun, like fun time, if I can find those letters. Okay, so I'm going to add the word fun. Now, you probably can't see it as well here, but I really like the way it kind of blends in because I don't want it to look um, kitty. But I think I need to add some glue to these because they're not as sticky anymore as they were when I first got them. Plus, I forgot to close the package good and a little, a lot. You know how that goes. So, let me get some little glue. I'm going to kind of go on the clock and off the clock. Ha! <laughs> off the clock. Oh, no. My U and N look exactly the same when <laughs> they're turned upside down. Okay. 
because you know when you're making art it is a fun time right when you're working on things so I think this works really good for this <clears throat> fun time now you can add and add and add all you want to these it doesn't have to stop here um, I'm thinking I might add a little bow right here use this little orange color the only thing I'm noticing is that my room is becoming a bigger mess and a bigger mess because I keep pulling things out so what I will probably do is clean up in between each card and the reason for that is I'm trying so hard to keep my room clean do y'all struggle with keeping your craft area clean I hope it's not just me well maybe I hope it is just me I hope y'all don't have this problem but my room is so small and I'll start working on a project and before I know it every counter surface is covered with something and my husband's like you can't even move in there and I'm like you're right I can't so I'll make a little bunny ear bow. I like the orange with the craft. I think that's pretty. Might just lift this up a little bit and kind of tuck and... Well, maybe not. Maybe just stick it on it because that didn't work real well. <laughs> well, maybe not. Okay. Put a little glue. Pretty good dollop of glue. Put that down. Now I'm going to trim these a pretty good bit because I don't want them to hang off too much. You know, if you were putting this in your pocket or if you are putting these in your bag or something so you could share them, you wouldn't want these to be too long because it would be a pretty good problem. Yep, I like that. Cute, cute, cute. And that really needs something on it. That's how you make a big mess. You're like, okay, that needs something, and that needs something. That's what I keep doing. But anyway, it just needed something there. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this onto my prepared back. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to use real glue for these things. Because, you know, you want these to hold up. Now you could use AT, um, ATG. Now I'm going to mix all those words up. But you could probably use ATG, no problem. But... I don't know. Over time, they may release if you're wanting to keep these for long term. And I know the person I'm sending these to is actually, this is a cool idea too. She's creating like a um, a frame for them. For Jane has got an idea to display them in her craft area, I think she said. And she's doing these with lots of different people and collecting them. And I think that's a super cool idea. Y'all never know. I may do an ATC swap on my channel. You just never know. Okay, so I'm going to press that down really good. Do you see how easy that is to do? And look at that little piece of art. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the back as well because I've got my little pieces to adhere down. Now remember, this is for your, this is your eye. This is your artist's eye and what you see as art. And you make it your way. So this may, may not be for you, this one. But if you start making yours, who knows? So there's one. We've already finished a whole card except for putting our back on it. So I'm going to sit that one aside and we will start on another one. So I'm sure you guys are all aware I have to do zebra, right, on one of these cards. These were sent to me from Becca. She is a subscriber and she sent me a huge packet of beautiful things. And I wanted to show you the whole packet, but I got into it and started playing with everything already. So I thought what I would do is every time I use her product, I would tell you. Now, the thing about Becca is she's an actual artist. Like, she has some beautiful artwork. And I'm going to put the link to her art um, below so you can go see it because her use of color is stunning. You have to go look at this. I think it's beautiful. But anyway, she sent me these. And um, look, for fun, she packaged them so cute. I don't want to take any more than I have to off to get in there. Oh, well, I guess I had to take that much. And look at these pieces of paper. I just love them and they're all zebra and they're perfect for this because they're the right size. So what I'm going to do, this one's going to be a little crisper and cleaner. I'm going to cut this down to two and a half by three and a half. And this is for, this is going to be the base to go on that firmer piece that I have. There's that. And I'm going to be using this on here. And I'm going to put it to one side. But I also think I want a little red to pop. I love this because I have so many of these pieces of scrap paper. And I'm able to use them up doing this. So that's awesome. I'm going to cut this down to three and a half. 
Oh, I have to look at it first because believe it or not, zebra matters. See how dark this side is and how much more white there is here? I want the more white side because it will be more contrast underneath whatever I put down. So there's that. And then I'm going to trim this down to three and a half. This was in my scrap pile, so I used this for something and it's just the right size. Y'all all know I had to do something in this color scheme. You know I had to, right? <laughs> there was no doubt. Because I love me some zebra print. I don't know where my fascination for zebra came from either. I really don't. I, it just happened. One thing I think I love about it is I'm a big fan of clean lines. That's why I don't do shabby chic well because I like clean, simple, everything has a purpose kind of thing. I get that from my mother. She's very much that way with her in her life. Everything has a place. Everything has a purpose. Everything, you know, so I get that from her. Now, I wanted a little bit of white to show on one side. I want it to purposely be off-center, but it actually, see, that bothers me. <laughs> I kind of like it like that. I think I'm going to do it like that. And this is not sticking good. Well, yeah, it is. Maybe it just wasn't stuck yet. You know, I use dry glue or just, you know, sticky adhesive so much, I forget how much I love wet adhesive because you have so much free time with it, you know, to move it around. I forget about that. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a tutorial one time ages ago making hot glue roses. <laughs> and I thought, this is a really, you know, this is a reflection of me because I created these just one day sitting around and I came up with this idea. And I hadn't seen it done before I me. Mean, somebody could have done it. I don't know. But I came up with this and I thought, I'm going to put hot glue roses on here because that would be cool thing to do. I don't love this one. I really like this one. I'm going to use those. I'm going to add those to it. And let's see. And I think I also use this guy, my branch punch, all the time. So I think it needs a branch punch on there. And I'm going to do the branch, I think, with this green. I won this, this um, strip of paper pack at a card party we had. I just love this. It's come in very handy. I thought, what am I going to do with that? But it's really come in handy. The other cool thing about this for me is, you know, I don't do glitter. <laughs> so this is a way to get glitter without actually using glitter. And this will kind of give the look of Christmas, I think. But, you know, Christmas is my favorite holiday. So, all right, so that needs something else behind it. Oh, I know. I think this piece of lace is just the thing. This was given to me by Taylor. You guys remember Taylor. Um, she worked with me for a long time, and she is not up. She's not as active up here anymore. She's down where she works, so I don't get to see her very often. But this was something she gave me. Put some glue in there. Put this down. And remember, this is going to be stuck to my actual ATC card. So I'm going to turn this under and glue it down. That way it'll be nice and neat. Try to get that even. I like that like that. Ah, what do you think? It kind of looks like a wedding. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put a pile of glue here for these branches. And I'm just going to kind of stick them in the glue so that they stick out. This one looks valentine -y maybe. But that's okay, because we're making it how we want it. And then I'm going to glue these guys on. If you want to see the video for this, I will do my best to link it below. That's one thing. I say I'm going to link stuff, and then I get to editing, and I forget. I'm so sorry. I don't do that on purpose. I promise. So if you, if you don't see it linked, you can remind me. If I say something and you don't see it, just remind me, and I will get it done. I'll put a little more of this on. So, I'm going to hold this one up. I'm not done. I'm going to put something up here. But isn't that a good start? I think it is. And it shows, you know, my artwork, right? And the things I love. So, um, I'm going to let that one dry before I do anything else to it. Now, for the back of that card, I'm going to use black. So, this will be the back side of this card. So, I'm not going to ink this because I don't think this needs to be inked. But I am going to make sure I put this on the front so if any white shows, it'll be good. I'll show that way. I'm going to put the black on the back side. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is just super fun to me. 
And like I said, I was not one for this idea. I thought, hmm, that doesn't seem like me. But the more I do this, the more fun it is. <laughs> and the more I think, maybe I'll make a bunch of these things, not just the ones for Jane. We'll see. All right, I think I am going to do one thing. I noticed that this is really showing pretty bad, so I'm going to take a black marker and just clean it up. I'm going to do this before I put that white sheet on because I don't want that white part to get black on it like this. Remember, this is your art. You may like rough edges and raw, raw edges showing, so you do it your way. You don't have to do it this way. Just showing you the way I do things. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the top down. Put the top down like it's a convertible. Put the top piece down. I'm going to get this glue all the way to the edge on this. telling you, I'm starting to like these dudes. <laughs> I think this is super fun. Now this one's going to need a lot of drying time, so I'm going to leave this one to dry because it's got all the glue on the front too. And here's the cool thing, I didn't even tell you, this is morning before I go to work, so I need to stop and go put my clothes on and head out the door because <laughs> I'm still in my PJs. And so I'm going to go to work and then I will come back and we will pick up from there and start on the next one. We'll actually finish this one because I want to put a sentiment of something right there. So we'll finish this one and then start on the next one. Okay, so I am back from work, <laughs> and we'll get started again. Look here, guys. Here's what I did. You knew I had done this one because I showed you that one, and then, look, I went ahead and I distress inked this, and I put this little back on it, and I'll show you more about the back later, and then this is where we left this one, and here's what I found. I have these close to my heart stamps, and there's a cameo. Do you see these cameos? Aren't they pretty? And I liked this smaller one, and so I'm going to try using it on a piece of scrap white. I just think it might be pretty to have a cameo right there. And I love cameos, so that's cool, because that's about me, or things I like. And I'm gonna use some stays on, because you know it's my favorite. These close to my heart stamps are just the best quality, seriously. Push this guy down here. And look how beautiful this is. I think it stamps so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so I'm going to cut it out, just leaving a little tiny border around it, something like this. Okay, so now I've got this little guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it to some red and then cut it out, cut, cut it out, that's easy for me to say, then cut it out again, and I'm going to put some little glue here my kids have company so you can probably hear them out there all right and I'm gonna cut this out a little bit thicker like a, a wider border so we're just gonna cut this one out again so I like how that looks and now I think I want to pop it up on some dimensions and put it right here I'm not in love with how my trimming did I think I may edge it because this will hide a multitude of sins, right? I just, I'm not the best cutter like that. That's why I love punches and stuff. But this will help. And also kind of antique it a little bit. Okay, so let's put it on some dimensionals. And I'm going to use a lot because I'm going to be giving this one away. So I want to make sure I have it good and covered. So that it will stay on good. Is it bad that I've already been thinking about my next one? <laughs> I told you, I think I'm going to fall in love with making these things. I think they're just so super fun. There's my phone again. I keep forgetting to turn it to silent. To silent. That was Twitter. Okay, so I'll stick this down. Yep. And I'm not putting a sentiment on it. I like it just like that. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I want to show you this morning before I left for work, I went ahead and glued this on too, so I'd have that on the back. And that's how my, it says May May made it, title, date, number, contact, because you can put your contact number or email address or whatever you want. And then this tiny masterpiece is one of a kind, and I'm honored to share it with you, is what I have on the back of mine. So now I have two made, so let's work on the next one. 